Hi, this is Trisha from East Marsh Acres. Obviously, this is not our garden. Um, we're on holidays right now, and we're in the Netherlands. So we arrived yesterday, and we're staying at a hotel close to the airport, uh, just to uh, get uh, jet lag out of our system. So we had a good night's sleep, and we're today. We took the train from Schiphol Airport to Leiden. So Leiden today has a Rembrandt festival and in that festival it has um, people, are, the locals are in period costume, they'll be doing stills of Rembrandt's uh, paintings, um, there's, yeah, we're just going to explore Leiden today and see what, uh, what insights we can have. As you can see it's a beautiful Dutch city full of flowers, which we like, and this is just our first entrance into their into their city central uh, from the uh, from the station. So there's even a windmill back there. Maybe we can take a tour. Yeah. And it's a modern city as well. So you see all the apartment buildings, uh, multi-story, etc. Nice little cafes along the water. We will take advantage of that uh, in a little bit. Oh, it starts um, at 12. Train station in the Netherlands. So we just arrived in Leiden Central, just to give you an idea as to the kind of infrastructure that's available when you're traveling around in the Netherlands. So um, train stations are everywhere. Uh, trains run between all of the centers, etc. And so you can see a, a, uh, a schedule here on the board. And uh, to get uh, anywhere, basically what you do is get yourself one of these and uh, you book money on it and you tap in when you're uh, uh, in a particular station uh, so that gives you the starting point and then uh, when you arrive uh, before you can actually get out of the station you have to tap out um, so there's a, a pretty easy way of, of getting around and it's similar in some ways to the way that we do go station go train and all that kind of stuff but uh, it's much more ubiquitous here. Anyway, just to give you an idea as to the kind of um, architecture we're seeing, so typical Dutch, high roofs. I have no idea where we're Very narrow. Go. For those who have never been in a Dutch city, uh, generally speaking, they're all laid out in a similar pattern. So you'll see the centrum or the center of the city, and it'll have a plain. Uh, uh, a flat uh, meeting area essentially. Um, this one is just around the train station itself, so you can see the Sintel stop plane, uh, so uh, trains that stop in a variety of different uh, small little towns, and then you've got the fast expresses as well between uh, various centers. Leiden's not a huge uh, city. It's a university city. Yeah, one of. There's all kinds of universities in, in the Netherlands. So generally, you'll find that the centrum of most Dutch towns are uh, reserved for walking and for uh, bicycles. So here's a typical pathway uh, for bikes. And you have to be careful around here. Don't walk on Do not? All right. Don't walk on the bike paths. You need to make sure that you're out of the way of the bikes because they have the right of way. 
Uh, up the desert. Okay, so this is very typical for a central. So you end up with fountains, bike parking, bikes everywhere, uh, and lots and lots of vendors, cafes, etc. So you can have coffee. Coffee is the uh, favorite food of uh, Dutch. And picturesque bridges. There's a, a, a large canal going through the center here. More cafes. Just absolutely gorgeous. Or at least to our uh, typical shopping district. So you, again, you can see that cars are uh, restricted and everybody's on foot. And here come the bikes. Want to say a few words? Yeah, so this is like kind of their, just off their shopping street. And yeah, this is their main canal it looks like. Look at all the water stuff happening. We've got rowers, boats going Those through. Are so this Look used at the to cafes. be wow. this used to be historically uh, the way that you would actually transport most of your goods, etc., from one location to another. So y you don't get the Whole picture of it here, but if we went to Utrecht, for instance, uh, uh, you would actually see that there are warehouses that are placed underneath the stores, and they're right at the water level, so you can actually see all of the um, locations where they would do deliveries, etc. But this is just a so is slice of heaven. Like, so the Rhine River. Rhine River. Um, here. And just a little fact too, why they're having the Rembrandt Festival is Rembrandt was born in Leiden. 450 years ago or something? 1657 or something or something like that. Gorgeous. Goodness. No, he was born in 1600, I think, to 1650. I don't know about you, but this is a slice of heaven. But hey, yeah. there's there's a uh, reference to Canada as well, the Hudson's Bay Company. Uh huh. Or is it English? No, I think that's still Canadian. Well, uh, it's owned by an American company right now. But see all the pleasure boats. So, even City Hall has uh, a number of functions, particularly from the perspective of being able to sit around and have coffee and enjoy life. Uh, this is a very much different kind of perspective. So think about Nathan Phillips Square with piles of cafes around it. Of course, it doesn't quite have the same kind of history either, but. There's some construction going on there too. This is not a typical city hall. We'll show you when we get to Kauda a little bit later, uh, Gouda, uh, what a city hall, typical city hall, actually looks like. Look at but bus. here you see the, the bus seats. Oh yeah, bus seats. So there's a way of moving materials and people around. Get <laughs> in the, uh, the front of the chair. I mean, we've seen bicycles that have. You know, a parent and two or three or four kids uh, arranged on the bicycle, and that's their transportation mode. Cheese specialties shop. 
looks like that Snoop Juice uh, um, candies. And then handbags. And other kinds of goods. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this is the water port, so you'll see over the canal uh, covering bridges, etc. His a bike. Low rider bike. <laughs> Equipped. There's a book feet with a couple of kids. People are riding around. <coughs> Saturday afternoon. Nobody in it, but it's ready for somebody else. Scooter, strollers, all ages riding bicycles. I don't know what the uh, church bell's about. 12 o'clock. Ah, okay. It's noon. 12 o'clock noon. Here he's using the complications that come as a consequence of all the bikes everywhere. <laughs> Lining the sides of the bridge. There's the of the building, academic building here. Oh, academic, academy gebouw. And then there's a word cultural building here as well. So it's basically a greenhouse. I'll have to look up a little bit of this. Wow, is this ever different than uh, what we deal with in our classrooms. But there is a large screen, computer up at the front, at the podium. Lighting. Don't have to deal with sound all that much. A big Sony and Cisco wireless. Nice. Good evening. Um, so I'm here in the hotel room after our day in Leiden and realized that I did not uh, have an opportunity to actually put an ending to the video. So I decided to do it now. Um, so you're going to see everything about the hotel room. Well, not everything. You can see that it's, it's not a luxurious uh, space by any, by any stretch of the imagination. But it's convenient, and that counts for a lot in my books, anyways. Um, so we spent the rest of the day in Leiden uh, and into the early evening. Primarily, we spent most of the time having drinks and then supper, uh, two different establishments that were right on the water, watching boats go by. So they sort of like um, treat it as if it's a, a, a drag strip or a... Uh, uh, strip it down the uh, downtown of a city in Ontario um, and uh, you see all of the people in all ages not just young young people in boats etc but all ages enjoying the Sun and uh, getting out into the water and uh, um, 
enjoying the the, the opportunity to uh, uh, see everybody and everybody being seen. Um, there were all kinds of boats, uh, uh, some that were rented, some that were family, some that were um, <clears throat> a number of hen parties that we saw. Um, uh, we saw a number of uh, rental boats, um, all kinds of things. Um, so it was a very, very enjoyable uh, day. And what I'm doing is actually separating the uh, uh, videos that we're getting from um, the reenactment, the Rembrandt reenactment, and I'll make a separate video of that uh, material, just a number of slices of our experiences as we're going through the day. But uh, that will be separate from the video that uh, tells the story of uh, our day. Um, there are some uh, enticements, um, uh, pre-learnings pre that you, you actually see in there, uh, pictures uh, that come ahead of time. But for the most part, uh, it's um, an account of the day itself, and then we'll put the Rembrandt materials off to the side. So uh, we will talk to you again soon, uh, probably from Vienna, uh, when we get there and tour around probably on Monday uh, next week. And uh, um, we ask that you be kind to each other. Talk to you soon.